Welcome back to the sixth episode of the Unreal Engine Inventory System tutorial series and in the previous video we made a backpack that is now accessible for our character but it is still laying here on the ground instead of being on the back of the character so let's make sure we fix that in this video. Uh, so first what I actually want to do is uh, select this backpack master and since this is a static mesh um, if it's gonna collide with our character it's gonna send our character flying and uh, basically we don't want it to collide with the character so how do we uh, fix this is by selecting the static mesh scrolling down look for the collision preset change this to custom and let's ignore the pawn and I'm gonna do the same thing for this one as well for my laces since my backpack consists of two static meshes and now if we would go to the backpack you can see we can walk through this of course if you want to keep the collision uh, while it's on the ground you can do that but then what you have to do is once the backpack gets uh, picked up so let's see probably over here yes this is the location what you want to do is drag in the static mesh component and set uh, collision response to a channel and then you select the channel which is the pawn and then you ignore it once we get uh, once we pick this up but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna leave it be like it is but you can do this uh, option as well now next thing now we need to actually equip this in order to equip this we need to have a socket in our character so let's find our characters skeletal mesh there we go let's find a good place where to attach a socket and I believe the spine for the default character should be a good location so find the bone right click add socket and I actually already have one so let me delete this one so create this F2 rename this to backpack socket or it doesn't matter as long as you rem remember the name so I'm just gonna copy it just in case so we have a socket here it's gonna be in a very bad location by default so don't close this we will adjust the location of it now let's go back to the backpack and here once we equip it what we want to do is from this character from the player we want to get the mesh at the very bottom there we go mesh and then drag from the mesh and attach actor to component there we go so mesh is the parent the target is self since this is the backpack we want uh, to use and let's paste in the socket's name now next thing that we should do is snap to target on all the rules uh, location rotation and scale but by doing so we're gonna run into a small issue so let me show you what I mean by that press play press E boom so we our uh, camera is getting blocked first and foremost and the second thing if you can see this the backpack is really really huge and it's back to its original sizing and that happens always when we attach actor to component for some strange reason it doesn't care about the scaling right here it just goes to 1 1 1 so to fix that what we can do is create a variable and let's call this default scale let's make this into a vector vector there we go compile and I'm gonna type in values 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.1 uh, since that's the sizing of the mesh then I want to drag in the mesh and I want to set world scale 3d and then I will connect the default scale like so now this is gonna work just perfect and it's gonna scale uh, the other mesh as well since uh, well the scaling gets changed for both of those since this is a child and this is a parent so now if we try this once more the sizing is way better but now we have other issues it's sideways and also it's blocking the camera so what we need to do is fix the camera so select the mesh again go back to the collision presets and make sure you ignore the camera for both of these as well and now let's change uh, so that it's not sideways and in order to do that we need to go to our skeletal mesh select our backpack socket and by pressing let's see E key we can uh, get the rotation so let's see it was on the right side uh, I forgot the way it was so let's let's just try this out change this into the 90s 
save this let's give it a try there we go that's totally not what I wanted it to do so let's try this again bring it back bring it like so 90 there we go now it's in the right uh, rotation but it's in a weird location so to fix the location now what we need to do is let's press W now we can move this around so let's see let's move this back and we probably should move this down as well since it was like on the top of the character so let's try something like this hopefully hopefully this will be good so you might have to adjust this quite a few times as you can see I'm not getting it perfect straight away so after changing it quite a few times now you can see the backpack is on the back of our character also there is another way how you could adjust the backpack on your character and so that would be by creating uh, multiple static meshes inside of this one leaving this one to be empty and then you can adjust the other meshes like so so you have basically two options you can move the socket or you can move the actual mesh uh, because perhaps uh, uh, different meshes might have a different pivot point as you can see mine is right here for example for one backpack it could be right here for the other one it might be over here or over here so you can just simply um, move it around in here as well so there we go that's gonna be it for this now the next thing what I want to do is actually have a possibility to drop the backpack on the ground so I can select any of the backpacks that might be in the game world so to do this let's go to our third person character and let's see I want to drop my backpack on keyboard B key perhaps so keyboard B let's see now on pressed let's see first we need to check if the backpack is valid so do we actually have one and if we do have one then I want to spawn it in front of me so for that I'm gonna get the capsule component and I want to get get world location and get the full forward vector multiply the forward vector with an integer let's make this let's say 200 then add those two vectors together and this is going to give us a location 200 units in front of our capsule component so now from here what we can do is if this is valid then we can spawn actor from class the class is the backpack master class split the transform and connect the location but this is not gonna be good enough for multiple reasons um, first and foremost we can't pass along the items that we have in this backpack right here so in order to do that we need to go to our backpack backpack master select the uh, player slots and we need to make this instance editable and exposed on spawn now this will allow us to pass along the parameters so select a different class and again select the backpack master and now it can uh, we are allowed to pass along the uh, player slots so let's drag in the equip backpack again let's get the player slots from the current backpack that we have on and we can pass along this variable and now from over here what we can do if this is uh, if this has been spawned we can drag in our equip backpack again and we can destroy actor so this will destroy the backpack that we have on top of us and since we have spawned a new one everything should work just fine and one more thing that I want to change in the backpack is actually set a uh, physics simulate physics for the master component and I'm gonna give this some mass so that it's not as as light so that it doesn't fly away pretty easily pick up the backpack pick up some items and what's whoa 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 I did not expect that so that's probably because of the simulate physics so let's drop the backpack pick it back up and yeah it's falling down because of the physics probably so let's fix this issue as well let's see so probably once we add this to the character right here we should probably 
um, stop simulating the physics so from the static mesh component uh, set uh, simulate simulate set simulate physics and this is false and that should fix the issue for us so now let's try this again pick up a backpack jump around there we go there we go there we go that's way better way better so now let's pick up some items to test out whether uh, they stay in the backpack press i few logs few pallets drop it there we go it's dropped let's pick up another one it's empty pick up one pallet or one log so that we know there we go drop it pick up the other one again and we still have the same items in it there we go so this is working quite nicely we are not allowed to pick up a different backpack while we still have a backpack and it's getting placed on our backs properly and everything seems to be working just fine so this is going to be it for today's video and like always thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next episode